First episode of our web workshop, Amber MacArthur joins us to show us how to get started the easy way to create your own website. It's called a blog. She'll show you how to do it. It's called for help continue. Stay right here. time on the web. Do you ever wonder how to launch your own publishing dynasty? Turns out it's not so hard to get started. We're going to start our new web workshop with our web design guru, Amber MacArthur. She's a strategist and design expert and a usability expert mm -hmm. with iPrimate.com yep. and has done many, many uh, websites for big Big, big guys. companies. Yeah, <laughs> but we're going to show you how to do it if you're an individual. Exactly. Web workshop. So what we're going to start with today is if you're looking to actually build a website mm -hmm. and you don't have a lot of tech skills and you don't have right. a lot of time and you don't want to take a lot of time to build something, the best way to start is to actually create a blog. This is kind of a revolution. It used to be you'd have yep. to know HTML and FTP and you have to have a host and all that stuff and we'll show you how to do that later. Mm -hmm. But this really is much simpler. It's really easy and you can do it in a couple of minutes which is great so yeah. you don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Is it costly? It's free. This is free. Blogger's okay. free. Yeah, we're going to actually demo Blogger, um, which is owned by Google. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a free tool, and literally anyone can use it. The most basic, basic user can get set up and walk through it, and in five minutes have set up their own personal website. There are a number, and we'll put links in our uh, website, but there are a number of other companies like LiveJournal yep. does this. Uh, uh, TypePad is another one. Yep, they have a free service and a paid service. Yep, so a paid service. I use TypePad for my multiple blogs. That's good blogs. as well, yeah. I love TypePad. It's great. But I started with Blogger, mm -hmm. and there's no easier way to go. I think, yeah, I actually think Blogger's yeah. the best. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's see okay. what is involved. So I have never done a website. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. First thing I go to blogger.com. You go to blogger.com. This is what you'll see. Okay. And the best thing to do to start out with is actually to take their tour, just so you get familiarized okay. with Blogger. So if you walk through their tour, they can talk to you about a blog. And what is a blog, by yeah, the way? Yeah, <laughs> as they say, a blog is basically a personal diary. So okay. it's really a website where you can post your thoughts and people can post comments on your thoughts. And you, you should think of it as something that you update regularly, though, yeah, not as just exactly. a brochure for your business. Exactly. It's kind of like your own personal message board. So okay. it's a place where, you know, one way that I think it would be really helpful for people if they were traveling and they wanted to keep in touch with people who are at home and right. give them the URL to their blog so they can go and visit the blog and see what they're up right. to and see what adventures they're on. It's also kind of a new form of journalism. I mean, there were people Definitely. at the uh, U.S. Democratic Convention mm -hmm. blogging from the convention. There's journalists using it now. Yeah. During the Iraq War, there were people in Baghdad who were blogging. It was an amazing way to kind of yep. uh, see what was going on firsthand. Exactly. And the nice thing about it with most blogs is you can actually keep it private or you can open up to the public. So if there's people who you don't want to see what you're writing, then that's also available. So but the you password protection. Exactly. Okay. So, okay. Um, that's nice to know, actually. It is yeah. nice to know because, you know, there's sometimes some people aren't as open with some of their thoughts and yeah. want to keep it to a uh, smaller community. Well, if you had a group or a club, you could have your own personal blog. Yep. Can you have a blog where more than one person can write? Yes, definitely. You can allow people to post comments okay. um, in the blog so they can reply to some of the comments that you've made and post their own comments. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, okay. it's pretty cool. So Let's if you continue can, with our tour. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> it's okay. No. Um, so if you continue through the tour, it will just give you the basics in terms of how to get set up on Blogger. Okay. Um, and once you get through the tour, now, in the past, Blogger has not mm -hmm. allowed comments. You had a few special software. Does, did they now allow comments? Yes, they do. They've added that feature. Yeah, they've added oh, that feature. I think that's very important to a blog. Yeah, it is definitely. It is really important if you want to get people's feedback and yeah. have more interaction. It's really yeah, when I first started blogging, I was really surprised. People mm -hmm. really want to participate, yeah. and that's how they do. And that's a nice thing because you form kind of a community with mm -hmm. the blog. Mm -hmm. So if you continue through the tour, and then as, at the last slide, you'll get to create a blog now. Wow. Then, okay. Yeah, it's very easy. So I've actually created an account already, but right. for someone else to create an account, it's super easy. You go in, pick your username, your password, um, the display name, which is the name that you want to show up when someone visit it, visits your blog, and you put in your email address. And you, you know what I like is they don't ask you for... Um, you know, personal information, like I know. how much money you make, where you live. <laughs> what industry you work in, yeah, yeah. all of that. Yeah. It's not intrusive at all. It's not at all. And okay. you can also keep your email address private, and you can pick a display name that, you know, it can be a random name. It doesn't have to be your own name, which that, is a good idea. And that's happened. There are private. anonymous bloggers. There's a guy blogging out of uh, Hollywood named Rants, and the, there's all this speculation. Is it a movie star? Oh, I've heard about yeah, this. Yeah, they think, is it Kevin Costner? Who is writing this? I think they think it's uh, they Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. But no one knows because yeah. it's anonymous. Okay, yeah. so let's 
what's okay, the account so, you've set up here? Okay, so I've set up an account, um, and what I did was actually I'm preparing to go to my friend's wedding, and there's a bunch of bridesmaids who are trying to get oh, ready. Neat. So I haven't actually had anyone post to this, but I... What I, a great idea. It's kind of cool because... So this is a special purpose blog. It's a special purpose blog yeah. because there's so many emails going back and forth, people deciding what to wear, <laughs> how to get to places, rent cars, things like that. So I decided I would set it up because the wedding's in a couple of weeks, and I'm going to send out the URL to our friends, and they can post comments and talk about what gifts they're getting so we don't let's buy the same it, gifts. Let's see what it looks okay. like. I'm getting All right. excited. <laughs> I know. It's actually really fun. So um, anyway, if we go in, we can actually just view the blog. Now, do you have different looks that you can uh, get? Oh, you can even put pictures in it. Yeah, you can put pictures in, and you actually can put them in using Picasa. Really? Yep. Ah, yeah, so now we're seeing the Google integration. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can put pictures in. It's a little more complex, but it's definitely, you know, they have lots of great help on this site, so you can figure it out. So what I've done is to create this blog and to talk about two more weeks, things to, that you can't forget, trying to find your way, and you can post links to this maps. This is amazing. I mean, this is as good as any website. You know, it is. Actually, for most people, this is all you really, really need. Um, there are templates, so yep. you can have different looks. Yep. You could do your own. Is if you knew HTML, you could customize it as well. Exactly. And although the templates, I think, are a very good place. The to templates start. are really cool. So now I see we get an ad there. Is that that's how they support it? That's why it's free. Okay. So there's <laughs> yeah. going to always be an ad at the top like that. Yeah, there's always going to be an ad. And if you don't want ads and you want to sign up and pay for something like TypePad, I think it starts at 4.95 US a month, so you can have ad-free blogs. Right. Tomorrow we're going to show you if you want to do your own website, we'll show you a little more advanced exactly. stuff. But I think for probably about 80% of the people who want mm -hmm. to do a website, this is a great place this to start. This is a really great place yeah. to start. Yeah. Blogger.com. Blogger.com. Send Amber MacArthur your uh, suggestions, your requests. Mm -hmm. We'll set up an email address for you. Amber Perfect. at callforhelptv.com and particularly as we go along Amber's going to start critiquing sites. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. That'll be great. She's a usability expert. So if you've got a website mm -hmm. of your own and you're wondering maybe get some tips on what you could do to make it look better, work better, Amber will be our exactly. web expert. So Amber at uh, callforhelptv.com. Great. Hey, thank you so much. Thank Amber. you very much. When we come back, we're going to take more calls for help. Stick around. Don't go away. That was neat. So you are you actually using it for the I'm going to start using it actually.